sideshow in Coney Island. What do you do in the sideshow? I'm the sword swallower. Oh, with the visor? Oh, no, no, no. I try to, I try to do something, something different. I see everybody with like, like regular hats. So I try to do something different with the visor. I had to go to a funeral today. And I put the colors together just because it was in solidarity with the guy who passed away was um, from the Bloods. It was funny because everybody there was dressed in all red. red. <laughs> yeah. Who are some of your biggest style influences? My dad. Boys and guys. I kind of dress like a guy, so. Gregory Isaacs. Well, I'm, I'm heavily influenced by um, turn of the century uh, everything. I like, for, I like for us now. Say my brother. My brother, Maxime Godet, the one who is living in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. He has a wonderful style. Me, I'm just a bit copy him. Oh, wow. This screw um, is from my friend's house. He passed away. It's just a screw from his wow. house that I wear. This is from an ex-boyfriend from New Orleans. We're gonna give you, let's say, a ten thousand dollar gift certificate, and you had to spend it in one place. Where would that be? Anthropology. I'm a real big LRG fan, so I guess anybody sell LRG. It would probably be something really classical, like I don't know. I don't want to say Burberry, but that sort of thing, where it's just, maybe even Brooks Brothers. I love that place. Is pretty cute. I like dresses, so. I'd probably go for like a Marc Jacobs type expensive thing. I like it, but you can't afford it, so. Hey, a lot of people think it's fake, and then I'll go like that, and they'll still think it's fake. I'm like, what do you think this means? I just didn't want to answer you. Where is this jacket from? Uh, Dolce & Gabbana. I wish I could say I found it in some thrift store and I was cool enough to know it. It, had, it was done in good taste, but no. I, this time I was a label whore. 